Hi, Mr. Daniels. This is Inmer. He'll be the nurse that's taking over your care today, okay? I'm just going to let him know what's been happening with you since you last came in. Hi, Mr. Daniels. How are you feeling? Not very well. All right, this is Mr. James Daniel, date of birth, January 17th, 1986. No known drug allergies came in around 0400 with complaints of fatigue, fever, and malaise for the past three weeks. It says his temps have ranged between 101 to 104 in the past week. Temps on admission was around 100.2 orally. He's been taking acetaminophen and ibuprofen every four to six hours at home and thinks that it's helped a little. Vitals are okay otherwise. Only past medical history is prehypertension and Raynaud's disease. No past surgical or med at home. Labs are okay too, so NP wrote DC orders. We're just waiting for his ride to arrive. Okay, thanks, Carrie. I'll take Thank it from you. Here. Mr. Daniels, I see you haven't had any medications since you've been here. When was the last time you've had acetaminophen or ibuprofen? Just before I left to come here, uh, around four hours ago, maybe. I'm going to do an assessment to see how you're doing right now. Okay. Open your mouth and do the tongue. Blood pressure is 113 over 80, temperature is 101, full socks 95%, heart rate 110. Respiratory rate, 18. Any pain right now? Nope, but I don't have any energy at all. I feel like I want to sleep all the time. Hmm. What's your usual bullet pressure? The night nurse said you have prehypertension. I think the top number is usually 130 or 140, I guess. I'm not sure. I had hoped when I came here they were going to help me, but I guess if they think I'm okay to go home, I'll sleep better in my own bed. All right, can you sit up for a moment, please? I'm gonna have to take a listen to your lungs. Excuse me, Wendy, are you the nurse practitioner for Mr. Daniels? Yes. I see he has a discharge order. Yes, correct. Well, I'm concerned because his temp is 101 and he's tachycardic. I understand the WBCs are normal, but the high temperature and the high heart rate are two indicators of sepsis. Seems really unsafe to send him home without ruling out a systemic bacterial infection. Hey, can you check on Mr. Daniels? I'm really concerned. He just stood up to avoid and he said he felt like he might pass out. Yeah. All right, let's start him on Tully, and let's start a one liter bolus of normal saline and blood pressure every five minutes. Azel, can you get the charge nurse, please? We're gonna need some help. Sir, can you open your mouth for me, please? Just take... What do you need? Sir, can you start a normal saline bolus, please? Yes, starting a normal saline bolus. Lizelle says you need some help. Record everything that you see. I just started Tully, Sarah starting normal saline bolus, and I have Zell checking BPs every five minutes. Okay, I am recording. Uh, we have sinus tack and BP is at 96 over 72. And uh, I see temperature at 102.5. 20 gauge in right antecubital is now in with saline wide open. Okay, saline bolus via right antecubital, 20 gauge, started at 1519. Let's get a lactate, CBC, Chem 7, blood cultures, and an ABG. Orders for lactate, CBC, Chem 7, blood cultures, and ABG in at 1519. I'll get the blood gas started. Sir, well, I'm concerned that you might have an infection in your blood. We're going to run some tests to check instead of sending you home right now. I have a lactate of 7 and a pH of 7.2 on the ice staff. Lactate of 7 and pH of 7.2. Start a second uh, liter normal saline bolus. 
Try for an 18 gauge in his right arm. Start a gram of vancomycin after you get the blood cultures. I'm going to call the MICU for a bed. Okay, lactate of seven, pH of 7.2, another normal saline bolus, and second IV access, and one gram of vancomycin ordered at 1526. Sarah, can you take over for Inmer? Sure. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course. You were right to question that patient's discharge order. I didn't think he was that sick. I've been working for five nights straight. I think I'm just tired. I think your knowledge on early sepsis criteria may have saved this guy's life. Good job.